Everyone have a first good session, yes or no? Yes. Great, I can already you know, hear people talking like, we can do this. I'm going to build a property empire. I'm going to quit my job. I've heard a couple of times I'm going to sack my boss soon. It's good. Put it on your vision board. Set the date. Like, literally set the date. Like, 12 months from now, that's it. I'm going to do property part-time. I'm going to do business part-time. I'm going to build up some cash flow. I'm going to raise some joint venture finance. I'm going to get some deals under my belt. And then that's really going to give you freedom and choice. Now, if I could ask everyone, because we've got a lot of people in the room, if I could ask everyone, just, just and you've only got to do like a few millimetres, could everyone just bring their seats just slightly forward, just slightly forward for me, just so we can create some room at the back? Thank you, that's it, that's it. Just keep bringing it forward as much as you can, as much as you can. Everyone, please, because um, the back of the room is a bit crazy. I want you closer to me as well. Us speakers, we like to feel our audience. You know, we, we like to get that connection with you. Wow, I feel, yes, we're very close now. <laughs> Next, I'll be having some of you up on stage. And I will be having some of you up on stage. Okay, brilliant. Look, this next session is so important. And the reason that me and my business partner, Jay, we have been able to add over £12 million worth of property to our property business in just three years is because of what I call the no money down blueprint. This is a blueprint that I have created personally myself because I am the money man. I'm the guy that goes and raises all of the money. And raising joint venture finance you might not think this right now, is really easy. Yeah, it's really easy. But you're probably thinking what I was thinking just three years ago, who's going to give me money? I've not raised any joint venture finance. I've not even got a property deal. I've just lost the business. I've just done this. I've just done that. The monkey on the shoulder is going to be very loud. And it's going to be telling you all of the reasons, all of the blocks as to why you can't raise joint venture finance. However, you follow the no money down blueprint, you follow that system, you will raise more money than you will know what to do with. And the position that we are in at the moment in Assets for Life is we've got more money available to us than we have deals. This is one of the reasons why we want to joint venture with you, okay? We want to train you up the right way through you know, coming to this event, attending our advanced training, the Property Millionaires Bootcamp, which is our three-day event, you know, mentoring you. We want to get you in a position where you're out there finding deals and we can then do the deals together. Is that pretty good, by the way, yes or no? Yeah. It's good, isn't it, yeah? Now, that, are they here? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. More will be revealed. Okay, this is literally hot off the press, all right? And I thought they weren't going to be here, and they're here, so I'm really happy. Anyway, um, where was I? Joint venture finance. I got really excited there, didn't I? So, so uh, raising joint venture finance, right? And we're in a position now where we want to train people to go and obviously you, we train you to become a professional property investor so you can do it on your own. But many of our graduates are doing deals personally with us and we're going into business together. And that's really amazing because you find the deal, we bring in the money and the experience, we do the first deal together, we all make, um, okay, we, we all make a little bit less. But I'd much prefer to have eight or nine deals going on at once, where I make a little bit from that one, a little bit from that one, a little bit from that one, a little bit from that one. That's how you build up to an income generating value of £11,000 per hour. Okay, that's how you build that up on certain projects. So this session is very important. We're going to be talking about the No Money Down Blueprint. This is what we call step two in the property freedom formula. Okay? 
So let's have another quick look at the formula. I want you dreaming about this tonight. Because this is the seven steps that are going to guarantee you results as long as you implement. As long as you implement. So we've had a a look at uh, mindset. We've had a look at funding, which we're going to be doing now. We're going to be talking about site finding later. We're going to be looking at the numbers tomorrow with Jay. Planning, construction and the exit. And of course, look, we're touching on the system as best as I can. You know, I don't hold anything back. But you do need the complete system in order to get the results. Okay, in order to get the results, you need the complete system. So if we have a look now at step two, which is funding. In step two, I have a system called the No Money Down Blueprint. How to create a multi-million pound property portfolio using none of your own money. Okay? And when you get this, and when you implement this, and when you get your first ever investor, everything changes really quickly. Because then you can scale. You know, you can scale really, really fast. So let's have a look at the blueprint. You're going to want to write this down. So step one is called prepare. Okay? Getting you ready to go out there and meet investors. Make sure you've got the correct foundations. Make sure that you've got all of the elements required in order to go and raise joint venture finance. Then step two is all about networking. Hanging around with the winners. Okay, network. Net, and you know, you know what? A lot of my time now as a business owner in property, a lot of my time is just hanging out with other great people, um, having a lot of fun. You know, spent the whole day yesterday at a go-karting property networking event. Raised money. Found a deal sourcer. While driving go-karts. Okay? A lot of my time is out clay pigeon shooting and, you know, uh, spa days and, you know, going hitting golfs on a driving range. I spend a lot of my time just networking, meeting new people. It's not difficult. Okay? Just get out there, put yourself out there, be seen, be heard. Step Three, ladies and gentlemen, is fact find. Step four is build desire. Step five is seal the deal. And step six is deliver and repeat. Deliver and repeat. Now, because they've just arrived, I'm going to go and grab a couple. And I'm going to tell you what's just literally come off the printing press. Like this morning. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right, let me just hide them for a minute. <laughs> now, this is a big moment in my life, but my book has just launched. Yeah. Come on! Yeah! Woo! Yes! This! Oh my goodness. Not bad for a dyslexic person, right? Uh, oh, you know, not bad, right? If I can write a freaking book, you can all write a book, trust me. So I'm going to say that these are officially the first three copies. These are the first three. Literally, they were off the press this morning. They were being printed this morning. Like we didn't think they were going to be here, okay? So just so you know, this is my book, Bricks, Mortar and Other People's Money. It's not launched yet. It's going to be going on on Amazon in about two weeks' time. Um, We sell it on Amazon for £10, okay? So not not a massive investment at all uh, for £10. And it's nearly nearly 200 pages all about raising joint venture finance. The exact system, the, the system here is there. And I've also got my home study audio program called the No Money Down Blueprint, which is basically... Um, It's not a copy of this, but this is me um, talking, obviously, about the system and giving you actions, okay? So these two products alone, when you listen to this and you read that and then you implement and you spend some time with us, you will go and raise joint venture finance. But I can't believe I'm officially an author, so that's really, really cool. Super, super, super. Okay, so let's get involved now. Let's look at what a joint venture is. What is a JV? Some of you would never have heard of this concept before. I certainly hadn't heard of it three years ago, 
And when I first heard of it, I thought, that guy up on stage has got to be on drugs. <laughs> like, surely you can't do this stuff. Like, is this legal? And the reality is it's fully legal. Anyone can do it. And it's just a case of getting out there and doing the things that you need to do. So a joint venture is a business arrangement in which two or more parties agree to pool their resources for the purpose of accomplishing a specific task. How do you fund your deals? So option one is you can use your own capital. So option one is use your own capital. Option two is you can raise money really easily from banks and building societies and development funders and you can use development funding and also bridging. Option three, which is my favourite, is that you can go and raise joint venture finance. And again, this is all explained in so much detail on the home study programme and also uh, my book. And option four, which is typically what you end up doing, is you can do a mix of all of, all of them. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at now... Why is someone going to become one of your investors? Why is someone going to become one of your investors? So what I'd like you to do, because let, you know, let's just fast forward now. You're all going to become professional property investors. You're going to go find the deals. You've got the systems. You've got the experience. You've got the right mentor. You've been on the right type of training. You know, you're hanging around with the right people. You've got the deals. What I would like you to do now speaking with you know, one or two people next to you, I'd like you to come up with as many reasons as why someone is going to joint venture with you. Okay, so why is someone going to give you money? Okay, you've got a couple of minutes and then we're going to be asking for some shares. Okay, all right, so you're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, super. Who'd like to share why is someone going to give you money? So let's have a show. Okay, brilliant. And what's your name, please? Minda. Hi, Minda. Hi. <laughs> fear of unknown. The fear of unknown. Okay, so that's why uh, in terms of the fear of unknown, it's almost like, it's a really good point because investors, they've got money, right? But they don't know how to become property developers. They're in their full-time jobs, they're in the corporate lives, they've got money in the bank, maybe they've got some money in ISIS stocks and savings, but they don't know what to do. So that holds them back from using that, their money into projects. All of a sudden, Minda, you come along, you know, you've got the right training, you've positioned yourself, you've followed the systems, 
We've got you all set, we've built your confidence up, and then all of a sudden you've got the most amazing deal. You're going to give them a really good rate of return. Is that a good JV, yes or no? It's a great JV, isn't it? It's a great JV. Give me a massive, massive round of applause. Okay, super. Why else is someone going to JV? Okay, brilliant. And your name, please? Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, brilliant. Well, that's such an amazing point. Now, one of the things we teach is to get really localised in an area. You don't want to become scattergun. I'll do a deal in Liverpool, a deal in Kent, a deal in London, I'll, I'll go up to Newcastle next. You want to try where possible to have what we call a gold mine area, and I'm going to be covering that later today because it gives you a lot more confidence. So Jamie, you know, where do you live, Jamie? Hartford. Hartford, yeah? So let's say Jamie's uh, gold mine area is Hartford. What's Jamie going to become in that area? He's going to become the go-to guy. He's going to know all the agents. He's going to know the selling prices. He's going to know the rental prices. He's going to know what's happening in the local planning authority, what's coming up. And as a result of them knowing that area, it builds trust and confidence with your investors. So let's give Jamie a massive, massive round of applause. Super, super, super. Okay, the lady at the back. Yes, what's your name? My name is Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Yeah. Less investment, like higher investment in time, they can save their time, lots of things. Yeah. Good. You've covered a lot there, so well done. Well done, Mandy. Excellent. Yeah, it's partnership, it's work, it's collaboration, it's sharing the risk, it's um, you know, doing less, earning more. Um, there's so many reasons. You know, the fact is you're going to have the deals, you're going to have the experience, you're going to have the training. Um, the biggest reason why someone's going to give you money is because it's you. That's it. It's because it's you. Now, just by a show of hands, show me your hand if you're trustworthy. Okay, so some of you aren't. <laughs> Stay away from that bunch over there. <laughs> show me your hand if you genuinely care and would like to help other investors get a better return on their money. Okay, great. Well, they're brilliant assets. So you've got to look at what you do bring to the table now rather than what you don't bring. Investors aren't looking for years and years of experience. They're not looking for you to have a massive, massive portfolio. They're making sure that you've got the right training, you're part of the right company like Assets for Life, you've got the deals, you're genuine, you care. There's so many reasons why someone's going to JV with you. So what I'd like you to do is write down, which you've started that process anyway, write down at least five reasons why someone will JV with you. Let's have a look now. And look, I've got to say, this is explained in obviously so much more detail in my book and my, and my audio program, okay, home study program. So if you ever get a chance to grab these, you know, make sure that you do grab them, okay? So why do we want to do joint ventures? Let's have a little think. Two heads are better than one. Now, the main reason why I wanted to do a joint venture when I started this process was because I'd lost money in my business. I put £25,000 on a credit card to start my property mentoring and training. And I wasn't in a position where I had money. Like, I was literally... I didn't have cash to start the business. So my main driving force was the fact that I had no money. And if you're in that situation right now, then that's great. Because that's going to be the driving force and the catalyst for you to actually get out there and ask for the cash. Okay? And sometimes, when, when you have two people standing by, side by side, and this person has got, say, 100 or 200 grand in the bank or this person has got nothing in the bank, or they've had to put their training on a credit card, or they're in some sort of debt at the moment, who do you think actually goes and raises the money first? It's this person. It's this person, normally, because their back is up against the wall. They've got a bigger why. This other person here is a little bit more comfortable. It's ah, oh, well, I've got a couple hundred grand in the bank, and you know, maybe I'll use my own money for deals. That money's going to go soon. Because property, you need cash. This person over here, they've already accelerated. They've got their first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth JV partner over the line. They're flying. 
So um, when I mentor people, when we train people, it's actually normally this person that's got a bit of cash where we need to spend a bit more time with them on this subject. Getting them out of their comfort zone, finding that drive to actually go out there and raise the money. And certainly the people that I mentor, it makes no difference if you've got cash or so you've got cash or you haven't got cash. I'm going to push you, okay? I'm going to push you to go out there and start using other people's money. So what I'd like you to do as an exercise, not right now, but at some point today, I want you to write down five reasons why we want to do JVs as developers. Obviously, one reason is the fact we've got no cash. Another reason is that we share the risk. It's fun to do JVs with other people. Like You have a lot of fun together. One of the reasons why I do JVs is because I really want to try and help the other person have a better life as well. Okay? So, we've got the No Money Down Blueprint uh, audio program. Uh, this is literally just being hot off the press as we know. It's not even for sale yet, and it won't be for sale for the next couple of weeks. You are the first people in the whole world to have access to this book. Okay? Now, the No Money Down Home Study Programme, we sell this because it's a full home study programme. Hours and hours and hours worth of content, step by step, to really show you uh, what you need to do. So you can listen to this in the gym, you can listen to it in your car, you can listen to it when you're having a hot bath, you can literally listen to it time and time and time again for the rest of your life. And uh, we sell the value of the home study programme and if I put the book with it, because the book's a tenner on Amazon when it goes live, the value, the investment into these products um, is £507. That's, worth, that's 497 okay? That's 497 that full home study program. But it will guarantee that you do go and raise a lot of money, okay? Um, so basically, let me show you a HMO joint venture deal now, okay? So this is 166 Greenstead Road. It's in Colchester. It's, um, it, was a, it is a bungalow, it's still a bungalow, and um, these are the numbers on this deal, okay? So the purchase price was 208500 208500 The refurb on this project was £41,000, so 41000 Can you use JV Finance with these deals, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, you use JV Finance, don't you? So you don't use your own money for these types of deals. So the total invested into this project is 249500 so 249500 We went out to, so this is what we do. You either buy the asset for cash using investor funds, or the investor puts in the money for the mortgage. So with many of our deals, we go in with what we call Kent, with who we call Kent Reliance. Okay, so that's the name of the finance company, the mortgage company. And Kent Reliance will give you like an 80, 85% loan to value mortgage. So in many cases, you're only needing to find 15% of the purchase price to get the deal over the line. And this works really well where the investor is putting in the money or the investor's putting in the money for the deposit for the mortgage and the refurb cost, and then you're going to do what's called a 50-50 JV. We've done the refurb work. The tenants went in. It's a six-bedroom, six-en-suite multi-let. So we turned it from a, a normal family home into a six-bedroom, six-en-suite multi-let property. We then rent out each of those rooms, okay, but the way we do, we do everything to a good to high standard, okay? And then by renting out each room to professionals, so normally professional people, you then generate the income, okay? What we then do, and what you'll be doing, is you've got your tenants in, and then you need to do what's called refinance, refinance. So what you want to do is pull out the initial deposit or the initial investment money, recycle that money, and then go again, okay? So we typically go to commercial um, lending and we use um, Shawbrook Bank. And what Shawbrook will do is they'll bring their value around and then they'll value the property. But with HMOs, in many cases, they'll value it based on the rentable income rather than the bricks and mortar. So we got a value on this deal of £351,900. 
We got a 75% loan to value mortgage. So we pulled out 251,000. In the deal went 249, out the deal went 251. So in this instance, and you can't do this on every deal, like you can't always pull out all of your money, you will be leaving money in deals. But in this example, we got a free house. Everyone here okay with some free houses? Show me your hand if you are. Yeah. yeah. Why is it a free house? Well, we've got all of the money back. The property is owned with an investor in a special purpose vehicle. We've got a session on that tomorrow. Yes, there's a mortgage. Who's paying for the mortgage? The tenants are paying for the mortgage. And then we get the kickback on the, on the, on the profit, okay? So let's have a look at the numbers. Um, those en suites go for £575 per room per month. That's the rentable income. Mm. Oh. Well, well, no, no, us, me. So if you're my JV partner, we're going to own it together. Yeah, great question. Yeah, we're going to own it together. I'll take questions at the end. That was just one that slipped through there. Um, <laughs> we will have Q&A sessions, otherwise we're just going to be here till about midnight, all right? So if you've got a question, write it down, and we will have some Q&A sessions, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, 3450 We've got a mortgage on the property now, okay? We've got a mortgage with Shawbrook. There's some bills in the property. We have some voids and maintenance. So that property, depending on the time of year, generates about £2,000 a month profit. Now, that's not all my money because we have JV partners. So the JV partner that's got all their money back anyway, they're going to get £1,000 and I'm going to get £1,000. Plus, I now own 50% of a house that I use none of my own money for, which is legacy building for my children, and we're potentially going to do that for the rest of our lives. Now, normally with most JV partners, we do like a seven-year agreement. We're in for seven years. Sometimes they're shorter. Sometimes they're a bit longer. Um, seven years just seems to work really well for people. What happens in seven years? Well, shall I buy you out? Should you buy me out? Shall we carry on for another seven years? Whatever the case may be. Now, the great thing about doing it this way because everything has its upsides and downsides, okay? The great thing about doing it this way is that we now own half the asset. What happens to property over the next 20, 30, 40 years? It's going to go up, isn't it? So not only am I getting cash flow, I'm also getting a capital appreciation in the assets itself. Just like Simon Drage, fantastic guy. He's a property millionaire boot camp graduate. He's also part of the Assets for Life Academy. Uh, I met Liam and I was blown away with how much he is willing to help. I decided to focus on buying HMOs using JV Finance. I almost gave up a few times. However, I found my first investor. We shook hands and he agreed to invest. Now, I thought I was doing really well, right? My first ever investor was a guy called Dave from Basildon who lent us £5,000 for a small refurb project. Okay, that was my first ever investor. Simon's first ever investor has given him a million pounds. Woo! Let's give Simon a massive, massive round of applause. A million pounds. What has Simon been doing with that money over the last 12 months? He's been buying, refurbing, recycling, multi-let properties. He's done four multi-let properties with that money. They're now starting to recycle all of that cash out, and they're now going to use that money, and he's going to move into land development and commercial conversion deals. He's off the tools. He's an amazing guy. He's got three amazing children. He's got one on the way. His life has been transformed from just one investor, ladies and gentlemen. One investor, one decision to join Assets for Life, and then one investor. This is how close you all are from achieving the lifestyle that you want to be achieving. So what did Simon do? Well, he, I obviously trained Simon, you know, personally. You know, he comes to our events. Uh, one of the events that we like to run from time to time is what's called the Joint Venture Discovery Day. So can you just write this down for me, guys? It's a specialist one-day event which is all focused on raising money, okay? It's all focused on raising money. So if you can just write those dates in your diary. 
We've got the 18th of October and the 1st of November are our next event. Now, this event is not like this event, okay? So the JV Discovery Day is very intimate. So we have very, very limited places available. And we also have people come in and talk about finance. And we'll have like one of my brokers come in and talk about that stuff. And we'll also maybe get one or two of our investors to come in. So it's very personal uh, and we don't have a lot of places. Hence, if you want to learn all about raising joint venture finance, We've got some dates in um, end of November and December as well. You can speak to my team later. Uh, the investment to come on this day, you know, bearing in mind, you know, my time is not cheap, but to come to this event is 497, okay? It's 497, but it's very intimate, very personal. You get to spend the whole day with me and my team at the event. Uh, just like Nasser Hussein. I'm a full-time property investor and developer. I met Jay and Liam back in May of this year. Uh, and what a transformation I've seen since meeting uh, these guys. Uh, as for life, uh, who I now work with, uh, show me uh, how to transform my business uh, and take things to a level that I never imagined before. Since meeting Jay and Liam, I've set up my own property meeting, attracting on average 20 property professionals every month, uh, where we JV and we talk about strategies and we look to raise finance uh, within the group or out from outside of the group. Uh, I'm looking at large deals now uh, where if they come off, they'll be in the region of three to four million pounds GDV. I've raised hundreds of thousands of pounds in JV Finance since meeting uh, Jay and Liam because they've shown me how to JV, how to, how to try and attract JV Finance. They've switched me on to using social media, which has been an absolute eye opener for me. Uh, just understanding the power of social media and what can be achieved through effective uh, uh, means of uh, uh, effectively using. Facebook and uh, other means of, uh, or other, other mediums, I, I should say, uh, social media mediums. Um, just truly inspirational uh, people, uh, surrounded by a bunch of people that are very, very helpful and very, very supportive. Anyone wanting to take things to a new level, I absolutely recommend that you consider joining Assets for Life. Thanks for listening. Brilliant. Let's give it up for NASA, everyone. Let's give it up for NASA. Um, Super guy, right? Like he was, he was an investor for a long time, but he was doing it the old-fashioned way. He was working even more hours, putting himself even further to the you know freaking grave, you know, grinding it out and saving up years and years and years to get a deposit pot. Then he'd buy a house. Years and years and years to get a deposit pot, and then he'd get a house. And he didn't understand this whole concept of JV. And when I met NASA a couple of years ago now, he, he just reached a point in his life where he lost some motivation. He thought mojo had gone. And he'd lost his way a little bit and he was a bit deflated and he was a bit negative and you know, he just needed that kick that he needed. In the first 30 days after me training him and him coming to a similar event such as the Joint Venture Discovery Day and following my systems, in 30 days he raised £300,000 of Joint Venture Finance. He's now gone on to raise millions of pounds. Uh, you know, he's up there on one of our uh, uh, protégés. You know, NASA, he's doing really, really good. He's doing some land deals and the commercial conversion deals. So if NASA can do it, you can definitely do it. Let's have a look now, ladies and gentlemen, at networking. Because networking is so important. Being seen, being heard, putting yourself out there, mixing with the right type of people. So networking is a supportive system of sharing information and services amongst individuals and groups having a common interest. Even today is a form of networking. This weekend. Like really get to meet people. Hang out. Go speak to my team. Let's see where the synergy is. You know, speak to each other. Because you've all got amazing skill sets. You've all, you're all good at stuff. We've just got to see where that lays and how you can then implement that into your property business. So I'm now going to give you, ladies and gentlemen, my, my system for networking, okay? Uh, this works. It's a system, again, that I've produced. This is in my book, by the way, okay? It is in my book, and it is in this very special home study program. Hours and hours and hours across three CDs uh, on what you need to be doing. Like in this, just so you know, in this, I can't really do it in a book as much, but in this, like after each section, like you, I give you stuff to do. So it's like really interactive. It's like, right, drop what you're doing now, and I want you to go and do the next three things. 
And then by the time you get to the end of the CD, it's like, freaking hell, like I'm going to go raise millions of pounds. It's very, very powerful, this. Okay, very powerful. So how do you go and network? Well, this is the system. Write this down, ladies and gentlemen. Write this down, okay? You are going to attend one networking event a week. How many? One. one. Yeah, look, it's not hard, is it? Yeah, just sack off EastEnders. Yeah, tell your mates you can't meet them on a Tuesday night for a couple of pints. And get yourself out there. Uh, a business networking event, uh, a charity event, come back to events. This is why many of the people that I've trained in property to financial freedom, they come back to these events. Because my team, the people that I've trained, our graduates, they're going to be networking with you this weekend. They're here because they know there's money in the room. They know there's investors in this room. And they're going to be generating leads with you guys over the next two days and booking in lots and lots and lots of coffees if they haven't done so already. So you're going to go to one networking event a week. When you're at that networking event, what might happen on the first one is you might just stand in the corner for the whole entire session, quite scared and nervous. Now, back in 2015, when I went to my first ever networking event at Pontlands Park Hotel in Chelmsford, I remember pulling up. I was really nervous, right? And you probably think, ah, no way, Liam, yeah? I was like super nervous. I remember the palms of my hands. I was sweating. It was good I had a jacket on because like, my, my, I was sweating bad, right? And, I, was, and I, I literally froze. I spent 15 minutes in the car trying to talk my way out of not going into the meeting. Anyway, I built up the courage. I got out of my car. I went into the networking event. And everyone was so friendly. And I learned some great stuff. And I met some great people. I built up some coffees with people. Had some nice tea and coffee and a few cakes. It's a really great environment. You couldn't then keep me out of freaking networking events. I was literally travelling the whole of the country networking. Because you know that's what I enjoy doing. I was really building the brand of Assets for Life. So when you go networking and you're in a networking event, what you don't want to do is just go and talk to everyone. All right? You don't need to do that. You don't need to just go and run around and get loads of business cards. What you need to do is just talk to five new people. How many people? Five. five. Just five. Okay? <laughs> Write that down. Now, this is where the magic happens. When you're talking to those five people and you've got some synergy, you're obviously going to share details. This is the next right thing to do. Has anyone got any idea how you ask someone for a coffee? It's a hard one, isn't it? How do you ask someone for a coffee? Yeah, what is it? Would you like to go coffee? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Easy, isn't it, yeah? But the problem is, people don't do it. What they do instead is they go, oh, lovely to meet you, great, oh, brilliant, oh, there's your card, there's my card, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Is that all right? Yeah, oh, brilliant, I'll call you tomorrow. Race home, wow, what an amazing networking event, I've got 25 business cards, I can't believe it. Run into your office or upstairs to bed, those business cards go in your top drawer. What happens in your top drawer in your bedroom? It's full of crap, isn't it? Yeah? You know the top drawer I'm talking about? Or that one in the kitchen that's got all the stuff in it that's been there for like nine years, right? Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. And you never, ever call them. Why don't you call them? Because then you don't really know what to say or you're scared or nervous or fear of rejection. So this is the magic. When you are literally speaking with that person, book in the coffee there and then. Because what goes in the diary will get done, okay? Then what you do, ladies and gentlemen, the next morning, or when you get home, normally the next morning, you send all the people that you got a business card from an email, and you give them a quick call. Hey, lovely to meet you yesterday. So, fast forward eight weeks from now, you've been to eight networking events. You have made 40 new connections. From those 40 people, let's say you've booked in two coffees a week. That is 16 coffees. Do you think... By having 16 coffees with potential investors, entrepreneurs, business owners, do you think you might just find your first JV partner, yes or no? Yes. Of course you will. The problem is people don't go and have the freaking coffees. So it's, and it, I, I remember in the first 18 months, I literally lived in Starbucks. Starbucks, Costa Coffee, Pont and Park Hotel. 
Anyone that wanted to literally speak to me, I was like, right, let's go and have a coffee. First investor, 5,000. Second investor, 250. Third investor, 50,000. Fourth investor, 100,000. Where am I now? Fifth investor, Phil and Karen, 750,000. And we're now at 4 million quid, and it is growing rapidly. Okay? But it all started with that first investor, Dave from Basildon. That was the one that really got me to think I can really, really do this. What's going to help you, ladies and gentlemen, raise JV Finance is having a killer 60-second elevator pitch. And again, look, in my home study program and also my book, these are very, very special products. I go into a lot of detail on exactly how to do this, okay? So again, if you ever get the chance to grab one of those, please grab one. So let's have a look at the 60-second elevator pitch. It's broken down into four sections. How many sections? Four. four. That was about two of you. Okay. I know it's nearly lunchtime, and I know your cafes are wearing off. The 60-second elevator pitch is broken into four sections. How many sections? Four. Okay, that's better. That's what I need, ladies and gentlemen. I need a lot of energy from you guys today. So, section one is who you are. Section one is who you are. Section two is what you do. And you can write this stuff down. Section three is how you can help. And section four is a call to action. Shall I do this? Shall I not do this? Shall I or shan't I? Huh? You think? You don't know what I'm going to do yet? I need 10 of you up on stage right now. No. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to do Oh, wow, we've got some really... I don't actually, I was joking, but um, it was good to know that you were willing to move, boys. Hey, round of applause for these guys. Woo! I like it. Yes, when you've got to move, you've got to move. That's so important. When you've got to move, you've got to move. So, look, I'm now going to give you my 60-second elevator pitch. Okay? Um, this is the only part of the weekend that you're allowed to record. If you would like to record this, so you can watch it over and over again, feel free to record it, no problem at all. I actually met my second investor um, at a networking event, how to create your 60 second elevator pitch. And as a result of standing up and doing that, um, that person became our second joint venture partner in Assets for Life. So this is my elevator pitch that I have used for the last three years that has literally helped me raise over £4 million worth of JV Finance. I'm now going to share this with you. Stand in the middle. <laughs> trouble her. I knew she was trouble. <laughs> okay, here goes. Well, I'm a bit nervous. Nah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Liam Ryan, and I'm the co-founder of Assets for Life. Assets for Life is a boutique property investment company. We specialise in HMOs, land development and commercial conversions. But what we really love to do is work with investors just like you. We want to help you build a multi-million pound property empire so you can live the life of your dreams that you deserve and you desire. I love business. I love property. I love to work with investors like you. So if you'd like to know more about how I can help you, I'm going to be standing at the teas and coffees at the back of the room. Come and say hi. Let's have a chat. Thanks very much. Woo! Yeah, cool. Good. So hopefully you could see how that was broken down in the four sections, yeah? You know, very simple. You've obviously got to practice. And I've got about six versions of my elevator pitch, about six versions of that. And uh, what I'd like to do now, because it's very powerful, so you practice. How do you practice? You write out version one. So write this down. You write out version one. You practice it five times a day, which takes you less than five minutes. And you practice it for 21 days. And at the end of 21 days, you will have a really, really nicely polished elevator pitch that will give you more confidence, it will help you raise money, it will help you find deals. Because when you're at a networking event, ladies and gentlemen, this is what typically happens. People get the opportunity to step up. 
Now, what happens when you step up? Your life changes. When you step up and you take action, your life will dramatically change. But what people do because of fear is they stay in their seats. Don't you, yeah? Please don't come round to me. Please don't come round to me. Please don't come round to me. Oh, my God, it's coming round to me. Oh, my... What the hell am I going to say? I'm going to go to the toilet! <laughs> yeah? Or whatever. Yeah? Or you stand... You're like, you're like this nervous wreck. It's because we worry about what people are going to say. Okay? I want all of you in this room to be in what I call the 10% club. Less than 10% of people in that environment stand up. I want you to all be in that 10% club. Can we all strive to be there, by the way? Yes or no? Show me hand if you can. Yes, let's do this. And on that note, I'm looking for a volunteer. Yeah, who wants to be? So remember, I'm looking for a volunteer. And it needs to be someone that hasn't got a 60-second elevator pitch. That hasn't got a 60-second elevator pitch. Okay, so hands nice and high. Okay, hands nice and high. I can only choose one of you. Okay, at the moment, we've got about 10 hands up. And you just committed that you're going to strive to step up. <laughs> What's happened? Yeah, so put your hand up. Come on, to get something different, I want you to do something different. Okay, brilliant. So one moment, I'm going to choose this lady right here. Let's give her a massive, massive round of applause. <laughs> okay. Anna, isn't it? Uh-huh. Anna, excellent. Lovely to have you up on stage. So well done and congratulations. Let me get you a microphone. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. So come over with me. Well done for stepping up. Okay, congratulations. Um, We are now going to work together one-to-one for the next couple of minutes, and I'm going to help you create your first ever elevator pitch. Okay? All right? So uh, are you in property or are you new to property? I'm new to property. Okay. So let's just work on the basis, a similar model to what we've been talking about. You want investors and you want to raise money, and you help investors by giving them a better return on their money. So that's really what you do, okay? Uh, Let's just use, um, let's just say your company name is Anna and, is it Anna, yeah? Uh, Anna and Co. So that will just do for now, okay? So when you say who you are, my name's Anna, and my business is called Anna and Co. Uh, We're going to go through the model. You've never done anything like this before, no? So this is first time, so it's probably a bit nerve-wracking, right? Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unleash you to this bunch here, (laughs) okay? This amazing bunch of people. Let's picture the scene. We're at a property networking event, we're at an investment event, and you've all got a lot of money, okay? You've all got a lot of money, and you are looking to get their business and start building a relationship, okay? All right? So let's have a look at the system. Let's have a look at the system. So it's broken down into four sections. What we're gonna do to start with, I'll give you that, hello. Uh, what we're going to do to start with is you're going to just do each bullet point, uh, and ju- as I say, you're just going to do each bullet point, mm-hmm. and then we're going to go full out. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. I really believe in you. You are going to do absolutely amazing. Do we believe in Anna, by the way, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, so they've got your back, all right? There's nothing to. I want you to be really confident, head up high, big white smile, go for it. Okay. Yeah. So let's just do bullet point first. Who are you? Who are you? Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a co uh, Anna co. Cool. <laughs> I'm Anna, and I'm the co-founder. Co-founder of Anna and Co. Of Anna and Co. Okay. What What do you do, Anna? Uh, I'm an architect. An architect, and yeah. also a professional property investor. And a professional property investor. Okay. So, and and you focus on say HMOs and commercial conversions. And focus on uh, HMO in uh, property conversions. Brilliant. But how can you actually help these amazing 300 people? Like, how can you really help them? I can help you to minimize the property. Uh, no. Again. In property size, and increase the number of the par- apartments in your nice. properties. Um, actually, I'm actually educated to import the modular systems in your buildings, which will e- minimize the co- uh, <laughs> impact on the environment and wow. uh, help you to increase your value of the property. Okay, and, and, and as an investor, I can, I can make you some money. As, in, as an investor, I can help wow. you to make all mo- yeah. like money. Wow, this sounds good, yeah? yeah? Okay, so next bit, next bit is a call to action. So you now got to tell these people something to do. 
Are you like, I'm going to be standing by the teas and coffees, come and see me now, and let's start chatting. Yeah. Okay, can you do that? Okay, so let's start, and we're going to do your call of action right now. And um, for future communication and networking, I'm going to be standing there just behind, next to the coffee, let's grab a coffee together, chat about future co-working. I can definitely help you, and we can co-work together. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. Woo! You believe that, yeah? Okay. That was a great start, yeah? Okay, so look. Here goes. Are you ready? Okay. Is everyone ready, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, you're going to do the full 60 seconds now. Or up to, it can be 20, 30 seconds, up to 60 seconds. Go for it. Give it your absolute all. Really enjoy this moment. This is your moment now. You're going to raise a lot of JV finance. And I want you to go in three, two, one, go. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a owner of Anna.com. Uh, dot co. <laughs> um, I, I'm an architect um, and property developer and also investor. Um, I can help you to minimize the property um, size and increase the value of the property. We can work with inventions of the uh, systems that are actually in the world and in, in, invent them uh, further down. <laughs> I'm there uh, behind you, uh, waiting for... That's it, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Come and Let's have a coffee. Yeah. I will help you. Oh, yes! <laughs> Woo! Wow, wow. Let's hug it out, yeah? Oh, my goodness. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Wow, because, like, you know, look, like, ten people put their hand up, but you stood up, Yeah? Uh, and when you step up here, you get rewarded. And you've got to go out of your comfort zone. So if you ever get an opportunity to step up here, like come up here. Because when you come up here, your life is going to dramatically change. How do you now feel? Uh, much more comfortable. Um, confident, okay. Yeah. More confident. I don't need a microphone to, I can shout out loud. <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah. I can feel that everyone is listening to me. It gives me much more comfortable in comfort confident and believe in myself and I'm not too young to do this. <laughs> wow, wow. You're not too young to do it. It's already changed from this morning, hasn't it? Yeah? yeah. And look, you know, I've only literally spent less than five minutes with you and already that's had a positive impact. You've done something you would never normally do. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, like my, you know, when people get personally mentored by me, you know, my mentoring rate just to spend time with me on a one-to-one -one level, you know, is over five thousand pounds a mentoring session. Because when you spend time with me, I will make sure you get amazing results. Like, there's no fluff with me. I'm all about results. Show me your hand if you want results, by the way. Okay, that's what it's about, okay? Results, getting money in the bank. Now, what I'm going to do for you, what I'm going to do for you, okay, because you have took massive action, okay, because you've took massive action, I am going to give you, in a few moments, okay, there may be a small investment to make, mm -hmm. but bear with me. I'm going to give you the first ever copy of Bricks, Mortar and Other People's Money. The first ever copy, okay? You're also, you're also going to get my complete home study program. This will literally ensure that you go and raise millions of pounds in joint venture finance. But before I give you this, can you guarantee me that you are going to listen to this you are going to read this and you're going to do what I tell you to do because it's going to change your life. You're going to make a lot of money following this system, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we know, we know, look, to buy these, okay, it's £507. How much should I give it for? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> You've got a good team here. You've got a good team. I'm going to give it to you absolutely free of charge. They are yours. I'm going to sign this for you, okay? I'm going to sign this personally for you later today, all right? I've not had time to do it, but I will do it, all right? Can we give this lady a massive round of applause, please? Yeah, so it's really important, guys. And remember, if there's ever an opportunity just to grab one of these... If someone ever puts their arms out and says, come and grab one, come and grab one. Okay. You've got the second ever copy. We give this lady, this guy, a round of applause, please. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, excellent. Well done, yeah, well done. 
Okay, brilliant stuff. So where are you going to find and how to go and find JV partners? Remember, joint venture partners are absolutely everywhere. Tell everyone you meet what you do. Position yourself as the expert. You've got to be clear what you offer your investors. Uh, you've got to go and attend property and business networking events. And of course, we've covered off the 60 second elevator pitch, okay? We've covered off the 60 second elevator pitch. Okay, so this is where you can go, ladies and gentlemen. You can go to business networking events, property events, social clubs, flying clubs, business angels, rugby and sports club events, charity events, and of course you can go to friends and family as well. You can also hang out with us at Assets for Life. Yeah, hang out with us. There's a lot of money in Assets for Life in the community. You have got a really powerful community of property investors and developers. Uh, this is why many people come and do our advanced training, our three-day Property Millionaires Boot Camp. This is why many, many people uh, come and be personally mentored by us and join the Assets for Life Academy, which is our 12-month mentorship and mastermind program, because you'll find deals and you will find money. You need to follow, ladies and gentlemen, what we call the trust model. What's the model? Trust. It's the trust model, okay? Here we go. T is for terms. R is for return. U is for understanding. S is for security. And T is for trust. And again, look, this is all explained in my book and my home study program, okay? It's a model that we use to build trust and rapport with investors. I'm now going to share something with you which is very important, very special. These are the six questions that I'll ask my joint venture partners, okay? The six top questions. You're definitely going to want to write these down. And of course, I go into a lot more detail um, in my book and in my audio program. So question one. Tell me what you're looking for in a joint venture partner. Question two, explain what you'd like to achieve in one, three, five, and ten years. Question three, describe to me what success means to you. Question four, tell me what returns you'd be looking for. Question five, uh, what does credibility mean to you? Question six, describe what is most important in a joint venture. Now, what you don't do is get your investors sitting down and go, right, John, I'm going to ask you six JV questions now. Uh, are you ready for me? You don't do that. What you do is you drop these in through what we call your touch points. And again, this is all explained here, guys. So if you do get a chance to ever grab these, not now, these are mine. Uh, well done anyway. If you do ever get a chance to get these, please do so. Um, always come from a place of service and wanting to help others. You can then go and raise JV Finance, like £250,000, £100,000. How is that going to have an impact on your life? You can start doing, it's going to change your life. You can start doing no money down deals. How and what do you explain to your investors? Well, we have four different products. We have these, the Assets for Life product brochures, the Buy to Sell, the Portfolio Builder, the Savings Accelerator, and the Sourcing Solution. These are four three or four page PDF documents I don't sell these, by the way, but if I had to put a value on them, they'd be valued at probably £147 each. We only give these to the people that really train with us, the people that are really part of the Assets for Life family, okay? What do they do with them? Well, they just copy it. They take their logo off and put a different logo. They change the photo there. Well, they're going to change the name because they don't want to use Assets for Life Savings Accelerator. And then they're going to go into the copy and they're going to change the copy around a bit so it's not 100% the same. And then you've got the information you need to go and raise JV funding. Because every investor, ladies and gentlemen, they want something slightly different. Some of them want a fixed rate return. Some of them want to just buy and sell property. Some of them want to build wealth for the next 5, 10, 15 years and get passive income. Some investors, they don't really want to give you a lot but they want to give you sourcing fees. And that, that's an amazing way to make money, like sourcing fees in projects and management fees. It's a great way to build up cash flow. Um, and each of these products, ladies and gentlemen, they do um, appeal to a different sort of investor. Okay, And again, I go into a lot more detail here as well. Uh, look at this one here, guys. Let's look at loan agreements. 
Um, so this is what we call the Assets for Life Savings Accelerator. If, you give, if someone gives you a £100,000 loan into one of your projects and you pay them 12% a year, every year they're going to make £12,000 return if they take out their profit and reinvest the initial investment. That's a 60% ROI over five years. You're not going to get that in a pension. ISAs aren't going to give you that. But this will give you it, working with you as a professional property investor. If the same person gives you £100,000 and every single year they're going to reinvest the profit and the initial investment capital and use what's called compounding, over five years they're now going to make 76.23% return. Okay? And when you actually start going out to investors and putting this in front of them and start talking to people, people out there are losing money in the bank. It's going down in value. And then you're going to pop up and give them a 10 or 12 or 8 fixed, uh, fixed rate return. Just like this deal. Let me show you my first ever land development deal. Does that look pretty cool, by the way, guys? Yes or no? It's nice, isn't it? This, is, this was my first ever land deal in Colchester, building seven flats and two houses. I can't change a plug, by the way. doesn't stop me from being a professional property developer and uh, going out and building stuff. I'm, I'm the business owner. All of these guys do all the work for me. They get paid well for it. Okay, I'm the director. I sit at the top with my business partner, Jay, and we simply run it as a business. That's our architect. That's our main contractor. Uh, this is obviously as the site was going. The site's completed now. Let me show you the numbers. This is going to get you really excited. All done using JV Finance as a result of what is in my audio program and my book. Like you just can't go wrong with this stuff. Okay, so, so powerful. Here are the numbers. It's in Colchester Town Centre. We bought the property, the piece of land, and we have planning to build nine houses. The land cost was £310,000. Did we use JV Finance, yes or no? 100%. The build cost was £1.1 million. We used development funding. We used a company called Funding Circle. So the total interest that we're paying back is about £86,000. So the total cost of this development, and look, anyone in this room can do this as a first deal, 100%. It's only nine units. And when I first started doing this, I thought I couldn't, but I now know I can. And because I had the courage, I got educated, I got mentorship, I went for it, I just said yes. And that's the biggest thing about this weekend is saying yes. Yes to opportunity, making that right decision. And as a result of saying yes to this, the gross development value is £2 million. The profit on my first ever land development deal, £492,000, ladies and gentlemen. £492,000. Now that's not all my money. Because we've got investors and we've got to pay people back and I've got my business partner. But who here would be happy with a freaking big slice of £492,000 on your first ever deal? Show me your hand if that's you. Excellent. That's amazing. This is what is possible out there, okay? And then the question is, is how many of these deals do you want to do? So let's say you made £150,000 from that deal and, and you were literally pulling out the profit today. What impact would that have on your life? Massive, okay, massive. Yeah, pay off some debts, treat your mum and dad to something, go on holiday, reinvest though. Yeah, yeah, reinvest, all right? Get your assets paid for your liabilities. That, that took the build on that was 50, uh, 48 weeks. Yeah, 48 weeks. So again, relatively quickly. So again, just imagine what if, ladies and gentlemen, what if. So I'm now going to talk you through the No Money Down Home Study Program, okay? Because a lot of people were asking about this particular product before the event, okay? So we know that the investment, if you want to get this, ladies and gentlemen, the investment is £497 plus VAT, but it is a full home study program, steps and actions, um, it literally everything, everything you need on this. Just like Sasha, she has followed this system. Since joining Assets for Life and following the No Money Down Blueprint, I've completed on six deals using none of my own money, and one of my latest flips is on track to make me £45,000 profit from just one flip. And the other property, she's doing buy to let, buy, refurbish, refinance, buy, refurbish, refinance. She's not used a single penny of her own money in these deals in the last 12 months. So she's doing absolutely amazing. You may be thinking, 
I don't know what to say to an investor. Like, what do I actually say? You may be thinking that you need experience to go and raise JV finance. Well, we've all got to start somewhere. And what you don't know is what you don't know. You might be thinking, well, who is going to invest in me? Or you might be thinking, I've got no confidence. How do I actually do this? This is where the home study program really comes into play, obviously alongside with my book. Okay. Who is the home study program not for? Because I want to make sure you know if it's not for you. If you are currently raising in the region of four to five million pounds a year in other people's money, then I would say that this is not for you. Okay? And we'd have to do some more advanced stuff working together. But if, you're, if you are new to raising JV Finance or you want to get JV Finance over the line or you've got some investors in the past and you really want to start doing this using none of your own money, then the home study program and the book uh, is definitely for you. Okay? Uh, just like Michael. Here's Michael. Michael's in the room, actually. Michael, just say hi. There's Michael, guys. Michael and Kazim. Uh, working with Liam and Jay has changed my life. They really do care and will go out their way to help you. My first deal, so this is Michael's first deal. How many deals have you done now, Michael? Seven, Seven deals in how many weeks? Four 16 weeks. Pretty good. No experience. Yeah, let's give those guys a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, £9,600 a year their first deal makes. That's one deal. He's now done seven deals. So you do the maths. Yeah, he's probably replaced his income two or three times over in just the last 16 weeks. So what is the No Money Down Blueprint all about? It's prepare, network, fact find, there's build desire, seal the deal, deliver and repeat. That's the entire six-step system to raising JV Finance. On the No Money Down Blueprint, you're going to get the complete six-step system, how to position yourself as the expert, how to have investors queuing at your door, how to approach, talk and negotiate to your investors, how to structure your JV deals. That's really important, is knowing how to structure the deals and the types of deals, how to leverage your time so you can build a multi-million pound property portfolio. Okay. Now, we know that the investment there is 497 into the home study program plus VAT. For all of you that are lucky enough in a few moments to get one of these, because we haven't got many available, there's over 300 people here, we do not have many of these, okay? For everyone that grabs a copy of this, I'm also going to give you a signed copy of my book, a signed copy of my book, so you're going to get that today as well. Plus, I'm going to give you two tickets to the up-and-coming invitation-only joint venture discovery date. So we've got four dates in the diary between now and the end of the year. You're also going to get that as part of the complete No Money Down Blueprint package. Am I making sense, by the way? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So look, guys, that is the complete package. It's 1501 plus VAT. You are here for a reason this weekend, and I literally want you to help me. Can you help me, by the way? Yes or no? So I'm now going to do something very special. If you're thinking about this, you're going to want to start thinking about moving to the back of the room very quickly. Wait there, just give me just a few more seconds. Because I can literally do this. There's 300 people here and I've only got 60 copies. Okay, 60. I think 60 copies arrived this morning. If you can push this out for me on social media and read it. So this, you are getting this before anyone else in the world. I want a JV with you now. So you push this out on social media for me and tell all your friends and family about it and get them to buy it in two weeks when we launch because I want it to be an Amazon number one bestseller. You get out there and start implementing the No Money at Home Study program. The total value with your tickets to come to another exclusive invitation only event is 1501. I obviously can't give it away for free. But I'm going to do something now literally so special for you, you wouldn't freaking believe. Just to remind you, before this, we're going to be going on lunch now. And we are back, so once I do this, we are back at 12, at 1.30. Platinum members, lunch is just through the doors there, around the corner. So I just wanted to let everyone know, what time are we back? 
8.30, make sure you're back on time. Ladies and gentlemen, If you, I'm literally going to be giving this away. There is a small investment to make. You help me, I help you. I've only got 60 of these at the back of the room. Go now. It's not 1501. I'm giving it for just £47 plus VAT. Quick, go! Go, go, go! Guys, just £47 plus VAT. You need to go to the back of the room right now, ladies and gentlemen. I've only got 60. I'm going to sign the book as well. I'm going to sign the book as well. Please go to the back of the room right now. And it is lunchtime, and I'll see you all back at 1.30. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much.